We're gonna start this video off with a Clover update. Here he is. He still exists. He's very tired. <laughs> I don't know why he's so tired. Why are you so tired? You just went out for a walk. Oh, you're like, your head is hot. Were you laying outside? <laughs> he was probably laying outside. Hello everyone. It's time to declutter the coat closet. Let's go. So hello everyone or welcome if you are new. My name is Kay, I'm a professional home organizer and today we're going to declutter the front hall closet. Now I'm gonna be honest and say that this closet is pretty organized but I'm gonna see if we can like just declutter, just clean it up a bit. So my general rule is that you want to do a seasonal declutter when like the season is over. So I live in New England and the winters here are terrible. I'm, I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. They're terrible. And so, you know, the amount of like winter weather gear is very necessary. However, I always recommend that you go through after like the wet weather, after the cold weather, after all that to see if you used everything and like, you know, made the most of whatever you had going in there. I don't know why I'm like, I'm like really dancing today. <laughs> so I'll show you what it looks like. Oh, let's open, let's turn on the lights. Let's turn on the lights. It's not too, it's not too bad. It, um, it could use a little spruce up. Um, Cause first of all, up there, like that's a hot mess. And then um, I'm a hundred percent sure I didn't wear all these coats this winter. So we're just gonna, we're just gonna hook this up. Clover, what do you think? Are you gonna, are you gonna help or what? You're not, you're just gonna stay in there? Yeah, I feel that. I feel that too. So the situation is on the side we've got, this is Eve's side, my husband is Eve. So I'm re not really gonna be touching the stuff over here. I He's got some hooks, he loves those hooks. Um, but the baskets, I don't know what's going on in his baskets, but we're not gonna touch those. And that's like vacuum stuff, so that's fine uh, because our vacuum is right there. Not probably the best place for it, but it, it's, it's, it's the place for now. But over on this side, we could probably stand for a few decluttering uh, moments. We've got, this is Clover stuff. Um, he is very spoiled, absolutely. I mean, I'm not gonna not admit that he's spoiled. Are you spoiled? Yes, you are. You have all these things. And then over here, we've got Clover's, <laughs> we got Clover's food. I don't have a little container. We threw away the container because it was like contaminated or something. So we have to get a new one, but for now, the big old ba bag of dog food is there. But what I'm mostly concerned about is these drawers because these drawers really need to be tidied up a little bit. Um, you know, we got the COVID test, we got masks, and some of these masks I'm not even using anymore. This is my winter and like weather gear drawer. I'm sure some of these could go. Again, this is my husband's not gonna touch it. Look how neat he is though. Okay, can we just? Couple other things hiding behind here. So we're gonna take a look and see what's happening with that as well. And this is the shoe collection. I'm sure most of these are fine, but maybe we'll neaten it up today. And also the boot collection as well. This is a place for all the rest of our winter boots. Well, actually they're just my boots, <laughs> but um, I think that's totally fine. Excuse me, what do you need? You made a little snorty noise. What can I help you with? Sir, what can I help you with? Look at the tail. Do you want a toy? Is that what you want? Okay, so unfortunately, we also have to <laughs> we also have toys up here. Um, so I think he wants one of these little balls. Now I know. <laughs> Do you want this? You want this? Okay. Here you go. He definitely wanted one of these balls. Okay, good for you. You got what you wanted. All right, we'll do a little bit of clover ball before we start. Just a little, just cause it's fun. Good step. All right, Clover, I think I gotta get to work, buddy. He's like, no, this is whole video. <laughs> all right, one more. That's all you get.
I wish I were that easily amused. Honestly, it'd be the greatest, right? Good boy. Okay, so I think I'm gonna grab an extra battery for my camera and we're gonna get started and maybe I'll make a cup of coffee, I don't know. <laughs> All right, so my favorite way to stay motivated while I'm doing these organizing tasks is really to put on some nice music. So today, I think I'm gonna listen to Hatsune Miku stuff. Can't put them in this video because I'm surely to get uh, uh, copyright claimed, but you know, good times. So I think the first thing I'm gonna do with this space, wow, I'm backlit, I'm backlit, oh no. So I have this like Opera Providence bag <laughs> and I noticed it's full of like clover toys that we have, this is like out of rotation, clover toys. And I think actually I'm going to move it downstairs because we have a place where Clover like toys go and I don't want him to think that this is like full of toys all the time. So I'm gonna take one out so you can trade one out for, uh... see the, the milk one, you like this? What do you think little buddy? Do you, want, <laughs> do you want this? Do you want this? This is yours, but you haven't seen it in like five months. You wanna play with it? You wanna play? You wanna play? Look it. Yes, oh yes. Oh yes, here, come here, let's play. Let's play, oh. It's like, we, we have these toys uh, separate so that we switch them out like every, I don't know, a few months so that it's like a new toy and he gets so excited. He hasn't seen this in so long. And basically the idea is to get the little cookies out of the milk, the milk carton, see if you can do it. You got it? Come on, you got it. Oh, there's a ball in there. Wow, who knew? Wait a minute. No, wait. No, you gotta get a cookie out. Okay, I see how it is. I see how your loyalties lie. <laughs> all right, all of a sudden the green ball's not interesting anymore. Yellow ball for life, huh? Yellow ball for life. Anyway, after all that, you can probably see that I need to move those toys downstairs because after dinner, he spends a lot of time begging at this closet. So I think I'm gonna move stuff downstairs. I'll throw the ball for you, but uh, some of this stuff has to go. <laughs> I'll leave the cookie thing out for you though, bud. I'm actually gonna take this opportunity to put away my winter boots for the winter because it's it's June, so I'm I'm hoping there's no more snow till like December. And this is the perfect time to take out my summer shoes. So I got like exclusively summer shoes in here. I got these like cute kids. I've got um, some, you know, little strappy sandals. So we're gonna put some of the winter shoes in here and summer shoes out. I'm gonna just wipe the mud and stuff off of my boots before I put them in storage for the season. Just so they're not like gross when I pull them out in this winter. Honestly, if you live in Boston, you live in New England and in parts of the world where like winter is serious business, you genuinely don't feel comfortable doing this until May or June. That way you're sure it's definitely not gonna snow again, but you never know. So <laughs> I always wait until, you know, I, I definitely know because it's, I've been burned before. Actually, I did have a couple things on my husband's side, but these are like the charcoal, bamboo charcoal odor absorbing things for boots. And I always throw these in there, you know, when I store these seasonally. So in they go. goodness oh my goodness it's more seasonal toys it's more toys clover oh my all right let's 
Let's arrange some of these. And this is the Valentine's Day toys. Want your your uh, bark brew? You want your bark brew? Bark brew? No? Okay. All right, we're gonna take some toys downstairs again. Too many toys, buddy. Okay, I am honestly not allowed to buy him any more toys. Like, too many. All right, I don't wanna admit this, but I think it's time to finally let go of this. I love this jacket. I have like so many good memories of this jacket, but it doesn't fit the same as it used to. And it's really not that practical. And I never, ever, ever reach for this anymore. I used to wear, I used to rock this all the time. It's a cute jacket, I'll try it on for you. <laughs> and it has a little tie like this, but the arms, the arms are so tight. The arms are really, really tight and you can't wear anything underneath this except for a t-shirt. So it's not really, it can't stay. I, I feel sad, but it's gotta go. So I think I have three jackets left. Um, any coats here that can go? No, I think all the long coats are good. All the long coats are pretty good. So the rest of these aren't mine. They're my husband's. So I'm gonna have to uh, let him do the decluttering on those, but I think, I think I can hang my raincoat up here. It's a little long. It's a little long, but it, it can, it's fine. All right, I'm gonna move my bag to my office. And I've been meaning, I gotta clean this out anyway, cause it's from when I had gigs. So I bet there's some stuff in here left in here. So let's move this raincoat here. All right, what's in this Target bag? What is this? Oh, it's stuff I needed to donate, but I forgot about it because it wasn't in the outbox. Oh no. So always the power of the outbox, people. Okay, so my hats. Um, okay, I only need to keep, I have a visor and I have a hat. So I think I'm gonna let go of this Under Armour cap um, and so here's, here's the thing. This is really hard for me too because um, I'm a human just like uh, you guys are and this hat has a lot of sentimental value to me. Uh, my dad bought this hat for me when we were in Hilton Head and we were taking golf lessons together and I needed a hat to keep my you know, to keep myself protected from the sun. And um, he just recently passed away. And you know, when I come across these things, I get a little emotional. I'm getting emotional right now, but I, I never ever wear this hat. I'll, I'll probably never wear it again. Um, and this hat is not him. And I have a lot more important things that are mementos from him that I'm gonna keep, but I'm gonna let go of this hat. Someone else is gonna really be excited about it. It's basically brand new. It's Under Armour, it's like super clean. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna get rid of it. And it's hard for me because I already have one that I wear if I need to wear it, but I never reach for this one because it's so bright. So um, it's gonna go in the donate pile. But it's hard for me too, even though I help do this for a living. So we're all human. I want to tackle some of Clover's stuff because it stresses me out a little bit. So it, there's a, some basic order, but it's not really, it could be better. So I think the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to actually decide whether or not I want to keep both of these decl uh, decluttering, deodorizing spritzes. There's some, well, deodorizing conditioner spritz. I think I'll keep this one and let go of this one. It just smells really strong and it's not as good as this one and I have a new one anyway. So I think I'm gonna do that. This is grooming, like this uh, thinning shears <laughs> for his coat. Um, I'm going to keep all that stuff. This is scaredy cut. So I've got like different size blades and um, you know, the scissors to do a little trim. I, I think I'm gonna make a little grooming area, like grooming bag. Now the Scaredy Cut, this is the Scaredy Cut bag. And in that bag, I'm also gonna put this little tiny razor and the other Scaredy Cut scissors. And these are also like little shears. Throw those in there. Devil Clover's here? I thought you went downstairs to like be with your dad because you were gone. Hi. 
Hi. He says hello, hello.、Mm. Okay, and here is oh, scaredy cut. This is grooming guarantee and like the instructions and stuff. And if you must know, Clover is like scared of the razor,、um, but he needs you know to be some shaved sometimes. So I have like the tiny razor he's okay with, and the scaredy cut, and he does okay with that. So I'm gonna put this stuff in here. No, that's the toothbrush thing, toothbrush cover. Put that back on. Oh, this is the peanut butter thing for the tub, but what's it doing out here? So I'm gonna put it in his bath stuff. This is the ear wipes and the eye wipes. I bet these are dry. Yeah, these are these are bone dry. So, and if anyone's interested, I do do Clover's、uh, grooming myself. It's just cheaper and、uh, it's less stressful for him. He doesn't like being dropped off at the groomers. He hates it so much. So. I just do the grooming, and I, it's it's not too bad. Lindlund spritz, the cowboy magic is amazing. If you've never, if you've had a dog with like, if you've ever had a dog that had、uh, mats and stuff in their fur, the cowboy magic. That's the stuff. It's like a decluttering, detangler and shine stuff. And actually, I used to use this on horses all the time,、um, but this works really great on. Docks, <laughs> so it's a hair detangler. It's basically like a bunch of silicones, but it really, really works great on、uh, dogs.、It、says yeah, like a no build on leaves, no build up on manes, coats, tails, and <laughs> so it's. I think it's made for horses, but it works great on dogs. So if you have a dog with、uh, tangles, Cowboy Magic, not sponsored. All right, so this is his new body wash. New shampoo, so I'll put that in the bathroom. Oh, good thing this was wrapped in plastic because that's open. Was it? Does it seal though? Oh yeah, it's sealed, so it's fine.、Um, and this lavender mint spritzer and condi spritzer and conditioner. This came with it.、Um, oh, can you use this as a leave-in conditioner between baths? Ooh, maybe I'll try it today. Do you want to be conditioned? All right, we'll just put that back there. Okay, so that made his little grooming space much better. Love it. Boots are fine.、Um, these are these were a gift.、Um, we can try them next winter. See how they do. Let's see. Sephora bag with this ball. I think I can get rid of that. About this. Oh, these are like little travel water bowls. These are fine. There's water. Oh, this is like this outside sports sort of drawer or basket. So I think that's fine. Robert, did you find something of yours? I'm gonna go through your drawer next. Okay, now I'm gonna just go through his drawer. What is in here? Oh, these are just like、uh, produce bags. Okay, so his drawer has his weather gear in it. So we're just gonna put some things away. This is his rain poncho. We're just gonna put it in its little container. It's it's got a really cute container. He's had this for like since he was a puppy. And I'll I'll flash a picture of him wearing it as a puppy. He was so mad that I put it on him. But、um, if it's raining outside, he really gets a lot of protection from this. And I've only had to like buy it once back in what 2017, and I haven't you know gotten a new one. And it's really cute. It has a little carrying case like that. So put that right in there.、Um, I don't think that he wears this coat anymore. So I think it's time to let go of this coat.、Um, I'll put it on. Marketplace. It does have some fur on it, but it can be washed. So I don't know. It's really cute, but I don't think it fits him anymore. Even、um, so, it's got to go. What's this? Plastic bag.、Um, okay, <laughs> this is trash. Let's see. Harness. 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 Gooby harness. I think we'll still keep that one, just for a spare harness. And we also have a spare leash. Uh, in case anything goes wrong, I always think it's good to have an extra leash, just in case one breaks. Collar, collar. I think I'm gonna let go. He hasn't worn a collar in 
a long time. Uh, he just wears a harness, and we put all this identification and tags and stuff on his harness. So um, let's see what else is in here. Rain pants, gotta have those. This is the coat he wears. Snowsuit is good. What is this bag? Oh, this is like the clover bag. <laughs> this is a uh, my dog is an awesome dog bag. I got this from Target. <laughs> I saw it. What is in here? Oh, it's like spare boots. So I have these boots from a brand called My Busy Dog. And the thing about them is they, they actually do, they wear out, but they don't wear out all at the same time. So I kept the good ones and we have, you know, Mitch Matchy, mismatched. So we have Mitch Match, a mismatched set. We've got um, two orange ones. Yeah, these look pretty good still. Um, and then we've got like a black one and a green one. <laughs> So I'll take it out and I'll put it with the rest of the booties. You know what, actually, I know these were a gift, but I just, I don't think that we're ever going to be wearing them. So I think I'm gonna dono them with the rest of Clover's stuff. And now he's got his little travel bag. Let's see, this is, oh, this is where his uh, shampoo was. Oh, the pet link is there, pet link tag. Um, Mooney Green. This is a poop bag holder for poop bags. How many of these do I need, really? Because I know I got more where they came from. All right, I got another one down here, too. This black one. Um, take these out. I'm going to put in his extra leash and his extra harness right there. And this is a weather thing, so I'm gonna put this down here with the rest of his weather business. I think I'm actually gonna be consolidating down here because we got rid of some stuff that was taking up a bunch of space. So this is cool weather. This is hot weather. This was a cooling mat. I don't think it functions anymore as a cooling mat. It used to be kind of heavy and then it now is light. So I wonder if that means it doesn't work anymore. It's really weird. So I think I'm gonna get a new one. All right, and now it's time for my second drawer. I guess I'll bring you in closer. It's not too bad, actually. It just has some sunglasses that I need to put in their proper places because I moved them. Okay, I don't like these sunglasses, so they're gonna go. Why do I have these? Oh, two, buddy? These were free swag? So I got these from Fit Summit. Let me just let it focus. They're sunglasses. I literally have never worn these. So this swag is gonna have to go. They're cheap too, I hate them. Okay, I have two pair of actual sunglasses that I bought and paid for from Anthro and I love them. So these are the two that are gonna stay. The rest can get out the door. All right, and these are the other thing that's really hard for me is that these are the, the glasses that went with the hat for the golf lessons with my dad. They're actually really nice sunglasses. They're kind of like wrap around cool, but they're just not my style. I never ever reach for these, so I'm gonna donate them and it's gonna be really hard for me, but I'm gonna do it anyway, so goodbye. Okay, can anything else in here leave? Old lotion, probably gonna just throw that away. I've got some masks, fashion mask. No, we're not, we're all about safety. Residence mask, I'll keep that. I'll put that on my singer mask, please. Um, oh, hand lotion, good. A uh, bottle of alcohol, maybe I'll put that somewhere else. These are fine, probably fabric masks. Just gonna get rid of because we're past that now. <laughs> we're, we're, we're past that now, we're K95 and K94 uh, gang. So uh, I'm gonna, you know, pass these on. I truly hope I don't have to use a singer's mask anymore. It is truly one of the most unpleasant things you can do uh, in your life is sing with a mask on. It's, it's not good. Okay, so the masks are fine. I guess I'll put my fun COVID test in there too. Oh, fabric mask, that got away. Got away. Little pandemic area <laughs> of sorts. What's this? Oh, it's my little my little period pocket. Period pocket. Well, we'll put that there. I haven't had a reason to carry the period pocket anywhere for a while because who's going anywhere? But, you know, it's good to have just in case you travel somewhere. And here is a packet in there for some reason. Don't know why. Purse is fine because this is where all my purses are. But in the purse is a shopping 
shopping bag. <gasps> and I've been looking for this. This is my portable battery for my phone. I knew it was somewhere. It's in a, blue, a jet blue package, but it's my portable charger for my phone. My goodness. I have been hiding things from, my, from myself and and my chapstick. Well, it's not chapstick. It's like, it's lip balm. Chapstick's a brand name, but like I've been looking for this. Oh my gosh. And there's some trash in here. So yay, I'm so glad I went through here. I found some things I was looking for. I don't actually use this purse very often, but when I do, I, I guess I had, uh, you know, put some essential things in there and then not taken them back out. <laughs> this purse, let me just check the insides to see if there's anything important in here before I put it back. Oh, it's just wet ones. <laughs> These feel, these feel dry. They feel so dry. I'm gonna open one. Do these dry out over time? <gasps> it's bone dry. What's up with that? Purse, purse is back. Put the purses back. Love to see it. All right, I think I've got room for the remainder of my purses and my purse organizer uh, in here as well. Actually, what's in here? Why is it plump? That's not my, that's not my drawer. This is my drawer. <laughs> All right, we'll put this in there. So depending on how I'm feeling, you know, I'll put the purse organizers in the purse organizer. So we decluttered a, a quite a bit of stuff. There was some stuff up there. We got rid of it. We took some stuff downstairs. We got rid of all of Clover's toys. So we're gonna deprogram him because he really thinks that this is the toy place. And then I got rid of, what, one coat? <laughs> so these are my shorter winter jackets and then these are the longer winter coats. So I think we did pretty well there. The rest are my husband's and we've got the shoes set up here and then the boots. Everything's away for the summer season. And Clover's little area over here actually looks a lot better. Well, this is now Clover and I are sharing. So I'm, <laughs> I can't get rid of this bag. I'm just gonna keep it. I don't know, whatever. I think I'll put an umbrella here too, a little travel umbrella and just got some wipes, I don't know. And the rest is Clover's. So he's got his little adventure basket here with the poop bags and uh, water bottles and little treat bags. And then he's got an extra harness and an extra leash here. His boots are here and his grooming accessories are here. And then in this drawer, he just has his, some more grooming stuff, uh, his cone, just in case you never know. I mean, knock on wood, seriously. And then it just his weather gear, just coats and stuff. And then in mine, of course, we just have <laughs> the new world things, COVID tests and all that. And then we've got the rest of the purses that I own. Oh, I didn't do any of this. All right, everything in here is fine. I wear all of this stuff. I'm getting rid of a couple of things. My little doggy scarf. It's so cute. It's just got dogs on it, but it doesn't have Cavalier on it. And I have not worn this in the past five years. <laughs> so I think somebody else is gonna love it. So basically here is the space. So I'll show you this drawer, which I just, uh, checked. <laughs> Just basically has my scarves and hats in it for winter. And then we've, we've seen the rest of my drawers. <laughs> Gotta get a food, dog food container for this little corner, but we've, we've moved the toys. So now there's less, gonna be less begging after dinner from this one. And I think this looks pretty good and we're ready for the winter season that's coming up. Clover, they got a lot of you in this episode. Are you happy about that? Are you thrilled? Yeah, you don't look thrilled. You look angry. 
Anyway, I hope you found this video entertaining and inspiring. Maybe you went to clean out your closet or maybe you just watched me do mine and enjoyed the, uh, the entertainment from your couch or your chair, wherever you are. Um, I'm so glad I found my phone charger and my lip balm. I'm very excited. So I'm gonna go make myself a cup of coffee, take a big break and give myself a pat on the back. And you should too, if you cleaned out your coat closet. All right, I hope you all are having a great morning, great evening, great afternoon, wherever you are. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Thank you.